Use code STUSH. Get yourself a discount. Hello guys, my name is D-Machine and welcome to Smite, a MOBA where you play as multiple variations of God from physical attackers to magical attackers. So I'm just going to log in. I have been playing this game for a couple of months now actually. And I normally play with this with my friends. So for people who are new to MOBAs, I will teach you how to play MOBAs. So, here we have our gods, so we have assassins, who are really good at like, doing high damage and they're really useful when it comes to like, enemies who are really low in health. Guardians, which um, don't do a lot of damage, but have a lot of health and a lot of defenses. Hunter, good damage from long range, mage, uh, magical damage. And especially I like Fove. He's a good one. And Warrior is my favorite type. Where they're just more... They're both good in defenses and good in, in attacking. And the newest one today is RTO. But the one before that was Kukulin, who I've been playing for quite some time now. And I love him. So I might as well play Kukulin in a jungle practice just to teach you what Kukulin can do so oh that's just choosing roles so warrior Kukulin Kukulin it's time to hit the beach oh that was one of his skins it's time to hit the beach let me bury you in the sand if we win this this game um, uh, that's a, a good thing about this game is that there's multiple variation of skins for each character. But for now, I like his I like his original skin. The loading does take some time, so here we go. Be it five enemies, fifty or five hundred, we will prevail. All right. So we're playing this Kukulin, and in jungle practice is the best place for you to practice different variations of gods. And we have a god over there, and two basic gods, which is Odin. Very, very powerful god. Too powerful, to be honest. There are some unfair gods in this game, but they are very easy to counter. Alright. Okay, so that's talking, so... So then you can just be like... And then... Yeah. Anyway, we're playing this Kukulin. His passive is different from any other mana. So, originally n people would have mana. Like, from over 500... Like, a lot of mana, but his is just only f f 100. And basically, whenever he gets, um, whenever he I gets inflicted, inflicts damage on an enemy, or he gets like damaged, his mana goes up by one. And then you have your his abilities, which we'll do now. One called Barb Spear. Whenever you like hit multiple, like either minions or guards, you regain mana or you get additional mana. Then we got seven. I think it's about seven. But yeah, and it, as you can see, every time I do an attack on minion on minions, I get more mana. And whenever we go to eighty-five for three seconds, we go into a berserk form of Kukulin, which does increase damage and also increases his maximum maximum health, depending on his level. So for now, we're level 1 and a half, and now we'll start with starter items. Blue stone is, is um, a very, effect very effective with people who have really good physical attacks and, well, abilities, this I should really say. Sure so we'll get that, and we'll also get warrior tab tabai, 
to give him that extra bit of physical power. And we'll also go for a relic. Very good relics, actually. I normally use Meditation Cloak whenever I play um, f a physical attacker. Because then I can help help people while doing some damage myself. But whenever I play in, in one of the actual game maps called Conquest, I normally go for Teleport Glyph, which helps you go to a different tower, which is quite interesting. But anyway, we're going to start doing some damage. Alright. There we go. And now we leveled up, and now we have his other ability called Salmon's Leap, which basically he leaps and he does damage in that tiny little circle. And like the, like last time, if you hit multiple god multiple gods or minions, you get extra mana. So actually let's let's wait for another minion to die. So then we can level up. Here we go. The thing about Kukulin is that you have to um, be aware of how, when he's going to go into Berserk because there are the type of situations where you do waste his um, his passive. So now we'll have Vent Anger which, which helps us vent out his anger into a very concentrated steam that actually does tick damage which is very useful when you're like far away from an enemy when you need to do damage. Because right now that's doing pretty decent damage, especially for a minion, which is pretty good. Alright, so let's start leveling up a bit more. This helps you level up. So then we'll get his ult, Spear of Mortal Pain, which basically is a circle, and you do a lot of damage in that in that circle, and basically that pushes him up. And then in his berserk form, which if I get berserked, let's actually kill some minions and show you berserk form. Come on, minions! Yeah, I played him so much that I don't have every emote for him. Alright. Alright. There we go. And now we're in his berserk form. He should have increased health and oh and damage. So now we'll have ground slam, which roots him to the ground and does a lot of damage. A constant vent anger, which um which is automatic. Oh, and I didn't even show the third one, but it's just Furious Charge, it's basically, you can push them and they can go into a certain spot. Really good when you want to put them in the tower, because towers um, automatically attack, attack the either guard or minion whenever they go into the enemy tower. Anyway, here's our Ra. Hello Ra. And yes, he'll also automatically attack us whenever we go near him. He has no items, which makes him pretty sweaty. <laughs> and I also have a an out of the pack, which is not the most interesting one, but it's I like it. Keep that in mind, Kulin's ult is really good when it comes to like other gods using their ults. Because whenever you need like, whenever they do like a, a status on you, or a status, like some, some can actually make you forget and sometimes fear or terrify you, so it's, so it's good to um, use his ult whenever you're like in those situations. So, you know, we can attack this, this Odin, pretty nice. Okay. 
that was a, we'll come to those in, in a bit. Actually, I might as well tell you now. These minions are very special. Judging judging by their colors, this one is strength, well, physical, well, more power, more speed, more mana regeneration, and this one is I forgot what the purple one does actually. I think it's something to do with like destroying their protections. Anyway, we'll return to lobby so then I can show you in action what Kukulin can do. And uh, I, I enjoy I enjoy playing Kukulin. He is a really cool, cool character. I would call him OP, but one of my friends say he's not really that OP. He's seen way better, well, way OP characters. So, come on game, there we go, so let's go into another training because I don't really want to lose in my, in a actual live game, so we'll just go into joust, which is basically 3v3, three three, three, which is nothing too biggy. Cool so we'll play Kukulin and then the game the system will automatically choose our, choose the characters for you. So we have Artemis and Ra, you'll always get them. And you'll always get Anubis, Neef and Hercules, which is not a problem for me because to be honest, the three characters that we're against, people go crazy for them because they're just really stupid when it comes to certain abilities. Yeah, high res don't have don't have a really good game on this. They they need to start sort their stuff out. Anyway, Artemis is a is a hunter. Ra is a is a mage. Same to Anubis and Neef. They are they are both they are a mage and a hunter. And then Hercules is a is a is a warrior like a Kulan. Just in case, lads. So anyway. Stay away until I pull off. So we are playing Joust, which the objective is you need to defeat this Titan, which is a really cool Titan to be honest. The other, the um, the opposite teams is not that, not that cool. Anyway, I'll just go for a normal item, meditation cloak, uh, really, which is meditation cloak. Also got a few potions, so then I can still have that sustained. Oh, and I just noticed I bought mana potions. Yeah, there's a problem when you buy mana potions for this character. Since his mana is totally different from the actual potions, they won't work. So, let's sell these. And I just noticed they just lower them. Oh, we'll get to... There we go. Actually, I might as well tell you what this is. Chalice of Healing. Basically, whenever you go back into that that sm small dome area, it actually refills. So then I don't have to worry about wasting gold. And gold gold is really key when it comes to buying items and all that. So anyway, these AR these these AI aren't the most intelligent, but. They're interesting. Like, they're not that easy to battle against. Well, actually, I'm lying there. They are pretty easy to battle against. So, anyway, the AI Artemis is now attacking the, uh, the enemy tower, which is right now is attacking the minions because that's, that's how it's supposed to go. And if there's no minions there, then it'll now attack Artemis. The heat bears down upon you. Now I'm gonna use that finger to take damage while the enemies are around. Of course the the bent anger is a small AoE. But it's not that bad of an AoE. Like, yeah, there's, there's bigger AoEs and 
in this game, but it's still a pretty decent AOE in a way. I just noticed um, my vent, my anger is, or my bizarre but um, is nearly finished. It just needs five more mana, and then we'll go into berserk. So for now, whenever I need, whenever I get to that, the point of let's go into um, my berserk mode, I'm gonna use vent anger to, um, as you can you would say, pull off. Or I can just do that, then I can use that, or that. <laughs> yeah. If you can get in berserk mode early, then you'll then you'll instantly have a decent like a really quick kill. This berserk mode is pretty powerful, but it, you can only do it once you reach 85 mana, which is nothing to worry about. But there are situations where you can sadly waste it. Alright. Alright, there's our town. It's blue, my favorite color. Two for one. What a bargain. <laughs> and the AI just got a double kill. Interesting. This is like the most calmest version of game mode, I would have to say, because there are some game modes where People take it way too slow. Anyway, let's beat this, this camp, which right now gives us this, which is like a potion, but it lasts longer. Unlike his dish, our hero was rampaged. <laughs> They're all dead, and I feel absolutely nothing. And to be honest, they're AI, so you shouldn't really give a darn about them anyway. So now I'm going to get. Ooh. Since it's a since it's AI, I don't really need to worry about actually getting the like normal. Items because they're, they're not really that in. Well, they're not really that try hard. But they are um, very stupid, even though they are an AI. But uh, from the stun ball, they're an AI program. They're not going to act like a normal human. But it, but they do have the simple like commands like if low. Go to like go back to the their own version. Well, no, no, station where they can heal back up from all the lost damage. Right. Yeah, so, there you go. Because you, if you saw that knee, then she started to go back to her area, and well, she healed back her health. So right now, even since we had a, a very like, quick game, I don't really give a oh, that AI is dead. Or not. And I just and I got attacked the same way again, because last time I did this it happened quite the same. This is quite funny. So I'll just get a double kill. It's pretty easy to get a double kill when you're playing against AI. Oh yeah, I never talked about the ult in this berserk form. Uh, basically, um, you get, I think it terrifies them? Uh, in, yeah, there we go. In this berserk form, you could call it and say, here's a terrifying yell. And, um, all enemies or damages all enemies and causes them to tremble. Really useful. Especially when you really want to get out of the game. And that was Hercules' ult. Holy crap. 
Yeah, he literally just like rips out a giant boulder out of the earth and then throws it at the end. Not surprised considering it is the the strongest god. Well, the son of Zeus. Anyway, since we're dealing with people who are both magical and physical. We're gonna get hide the urchin, or archin, or how you wanna pronounce it. And basically, every kill or assist I get. So let's get the score board. So, well, for now, for every kill now or assist, I get um, an extra free in both, or three percent, or yeah, three points in both physical and magical. And it stacks up to a total like of 10. Ally. So right now I didn't get the assist because I didn't really assist her in any way. But if I can, if I can try to get a quick kill, I'm not gonna risk it because the tower still does a lot of damage. Now I can risk it. Here we go. There we go. So right now on the, bo on the bottom, bottom of the screen, you can see the actual item, and it has a two on it, which means I've stacked up to two now, which is give me six points. Oh, and I just used two potions because I don't have. I actually didn't know you could do that, but I guess I just used two potions without actually putting it into a slot. You know, let's start on this. Since I've really taught most of the ropes, let's see if I can end this game pretty quickly. It's going to be pretty easy considering they're just, they're just AI. Oh, no. Yeah, strangely, this these AI. Um, are known to go back to the minion pack or go back to new batches of minions so then they can go in and well have the power. So let's start attacking this tower. Don't want to risk going to preserve them like this now I'm going to preserve. Titan slowly dies by his own swords, which is pretty sad. But yeah, that's literally how you pl play Smite. There are, like I said, conquests, which is basically five teams, and basically you do this, you do the same thing, only there's more towers and more chances of you dying. Uh, there's also siege, which is another version like this, which is basically like two lanes, and you have to again defeat the titan and yeah that's how you defeat it <laughs> defeat some oh, that's how you play smite so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye bye